Guys ready to be afraid, be super afraid, be ultra afraid. Interesting. All right, let's, all right. What do I do? Hey there, son. I noticed that you haven't been filling out the reports on the calls you've been doing recently. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... Like I said to you before, this isn't on you. No one's blaming you. He shouldn't have gone in the way he did. He should have waited for the right people to come and... Like I said, no one's blaming you for that. Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? Okay. I hope you feel better soon. I'll keep in touch. The chief is my dad, I guess? We need an ambulance, quick! Calm down, tell me what's happened. He's going to die. Oh God, how could I let this happen? Who's going to die? Gus is. What's happened to him? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. Is he allergic to nuts? Well, no, but dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? Bruh. He'll be fine, just call a vet. <laughs> call 911 on a dog. <laughs> okay. Dog. A chocolate. Okay. Okay, there we go. Finally, I was beginning to think I would never get an answer. This is 911. What is your emergency? That wasn't much of an apology. What is the emergency? I am being forced out of this shop unwillingly. It's really long. It's got an hour ago, man. I am a paying customer, and you cannot force me to leave. What is your name? You don't have the right to know my name. I am sorry, I cannot help you. Useless. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. Glad to be of service. Execute order 66. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Straight up, Karen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Nine one one. What is your emergency? Hello, someone is trying to get into my house. All right. What is your address? It's fifty four Raymond Street. Do you know who they are? It's got to be my ex husband. What is he doing? He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. Why is he trying to break in? He wants to see our daughter. He was meant to be here a few days ago, but he didn't show up. What did he miss? Sophie? She's our daughter. She lives with me. He gets visits. I see. I'll get a unit on the way to help calm things. in 
Tell them to hurry. Can you hide yourself somewhere? Me and Sophie are going to, but he'll try to find her. They're only a couple minutes away. Stay put. I'm going to give the phone to my daughter and try to talk to him. Can you keep him busy until the police show up? He won't stop until he finds her. Pass me to your daughter. Hello, what is your name? Sophie, who are you? I'm a police officer. I'm helping your mom and dad. My dad is here? He said he was going to come last week, but he didn't. Do you know why he didn't? Um, I'm not sure. He used to live here. But he reached out a lot. Sometimes I think it was because of me. I see. They both love you, though. Again. It's okay. Where are you in the house? I'm I'm downstairs in the living room. Okay, it would be better if you went to your room. But, but why? Why can't they just stop fighting? They will, but you need to go upstairs. Oh, okay. I'm gonna run past them and go into my room. Sophie! Come here, you. Stop it. Stop it. Let her go. Uh oh. How does it take the police to get there? What? Literally the slowest police there is. <laughs> Sophie, are you okay? What has happened, Sophie? Dad pushed her. She wasn't moving. Mama bleeding on the floor. Where are you now? I'm I'm upstairs in my room. I can I can hear him breaking stuff. Does your door have a lock on it? No, but I I could put a chair in front of it. Mom did it once. Okay, do that. It shouldn't be long now for help to arrive. Please help my mom. Oh, oh, I can smell burning. What do you mean? I think, I think he's upstairs. Push the chair against the door. Oh, all right. I'll try. I'm putting the phone down. So, are you in there? I'm sorry. Please come out. Oh, my Lord. 
What is going on here? Hopefully, but you need to leave now. I, I can't get out of here on my own. Please, please tell him to help. Dispatch, this is Unit 8908 approaching the property now. We need fire services here ASAP. I'll get some on the way. The, the child is trapped inside. Damn it. The fire is very intense. The first floor is engulfed. Do you think you could get to the stairs? The kid is on the second floor. We might be able to get in and out in time if we knew which room she was in. Sophie, I need you to leave your room and shout for help. No, there's too much smoke. Tell them to come and find me. If you shout, they will be able to find you easier when they come in. Please trust me. Okay, okay. I'm going to do it. I will tell them to listen out. I hear her. Keep talking to me, kid. We're on our way. Whoa! What? <laughs> come here, kid. I got you. Alright, we're getting out of here. What the? That's it? <laughs> okay. We saved the girl. I honestly thought there was more to it. Yeah, there might be more endings. We got the good ending. I guess it depended on, I think it would depend on whether or not if I save the girl, whether or not if I get killed by the little, the monster. That was, that was interesting. Wow, that was, I, would, I did jump because I wasn't expecting that thing to come out. I saw the thing on the desk and I'm like, what's this doing on the desk?